فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير I want to teach you something. You know to smile is a sunnah. I'm sure we all know that, right? Do you know if you go to work as a Muslim and you always have a good expression on your face, you're always smiling, guess what will happen? There are so many people around you today that are not Muslim, that don't have belief. They are searching for one thing. Everyone is searching for one thing, contentment, happiness. Everyone is looking for happiness, no matter how much wealth they have. Something wrong in the home, something wrong here. That's a gift of Allah, searching for happiness. And they see you every time you're smiling. That's sunnah. So I'm smiling, my expression. And you know these people working with me, but look at her. She's just smiling. We have this problem, that problem. What's going on? She's just smiling. Automatically, it makes them feel good, number one. Number two, it makes them want to know what is it that makes you keep smiling. You have bigger problems than mine, but I see you no problem, sister. It's okay. It's one of those things. And I've got a small little problem. One peanut was stuck in my throat and I almost died. You know? Subhanallah. It's the expression on your face. That's why it's a sunnah. It's not just a smile is not just a sunnah for nothing. You can talk about it for two days. It's a smile, it's something genuine. It, it really gives, the, it creates an ambience that is indescribable. It, may, it gives a feeling of goodness. It makes people forget about their problems. In fact, it makes them feel that this is not even a problem worth being depressed about. Not even. And at the same time, subhanAllah, it solves your own matters. You're happy, you have hope in Allah. Alhamdulillah, things could have been worse. I'm looking at people who've lost all their children. I've just lost two. Subhanallah. May Allah grant you Jannah. May Allah grant them Jannah. Your sabr, your patience will definitely be a gem for the year after. Your sabr, your patience will definitely be a gem for the year after. Remember this. So you smile and that is something you beam. It is just a sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So important. Many of us are not even bothered. We look so depressed that even the happy people become depressed when they see us. <laughs> it happens sometimes. Everyone's happy and they see you and they're like, "What happened here?" Because oh, that's it. May Allah never make us from among those who beam negative energy. May we be from among those who beam positive energy all the time, no matter what. It's it's an ibadah. Not only for yourself, you've reached out to others through a beautiful smile. And it doesn't always have to be such a broad smile that people think that, you know what, this is not legit. People can pick up that it's legitimate. It's just an expression on your face. Even if it just, you just break into it. Subhanallah. Don't maltreat people based on their looks, based on their color, their race and so on. No, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us in this regard. This verse is a wake-up call.